Well, good day, folks. Uh, welcome back to my Getting Ready for Writing Season 2018 project. Um, I've only got about a week left to get this thing together and uh, stop putting stuff on it and get it out in the trailer so we can go riding in April. But uh, this will be a nice little quick video today, something pretty simple. It won't be my usual hour-long extravaganza. <laughs> well, what we have is a Super ATV door bags. Um, the main reason I wanted these is for this knee pad right here. Uh, if you're maybe unfamiliar why you would want this, here's a clip from our Hatfield ride in October last year. Well, we're back to the yeah. connector trail. Oh. Got about another two hours that way. <laughs> 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 My knees are starting to hurt a little bit. I, from three days, this, do you have door bags? No, not yet. I'm good. That, that will be my next purchase. I, I, I after I get a fender, I'm gonna get a fender and door bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, having this nice uh, squishy piece of foam between your knee and the door frame is gonna be quite beneficial. But it also has this nice storage pouch on this side. It's got a zippered opening here, got a little flap uh, protecting the zipper from the mud and water and everything else that comes raining down from the outside. The little compartment itself is pretty spacious. I don't know if you can see down in there, it's all black and, you know, I'm wearing black gloves, dark shirt, but uh, there's quite a bit of room in here. You could roll up a jacket and stuff it down in here and still have room probably for your goggles or a cup. Um, it's got these elastic pouches that are sewn into the back of it. Good place to put wallet, uh, cell phone, stuff like that. Got a little loop here you can attach your keys to keep them from getting lost. Um, I'm probably going to end up keeping my camera equipment and stuff down in mine. Um, keep it kind of out of the way, all my extra batteries and charge packs and things. And then uh, we'll just zip it up and keep it, you know, nice and protected and be easy to get to as well. Um, also, I like the way this one is mounted. It has uh, five different uh, rings here for attaching uh, with screws. The screws are existing. They actually hold the outer uh, plastic door uh, shell on your door frame itself. Um, there's six screws that hold them on, and this takes advantage of five of them. So it's just very securely mounted. And they also put a strip of Velcro here on the back that um, just kind of supports this top, keeps it from kind of bulging out if you get a lot in here. Um, one thing I do want to kind of mention, the Velcro strip that comes with it is way wider than it needs to be. So I actually uh, cut mine in half. And I put one half on one side, one on the other, and then I'll just keep an extra one in case I need to replace it later. Um, all I did is to take some scissors and just cut it right down the middle. But uh, let's go around to the passenger side. I've already put the driver's side on, but go around to the passenger side and we'll get this mounted up real quick. Right on this Velcro strip, uh, you don't have to cut it if you don't want to, but we'll start there. Uh, just take it, uh, peel the backing off, and uh, before you do this, though, take some alcohol and uh, clean this part of the door frame where you're going to attach the adhesive. Uh, now, the good place to line it up, just because I've already done the other side, I know about where it needs to go. Um, just start this little hole here. You've got these two larger holes and then one right back here. You can just kind of line up even with that one and then about the middle of the door frame here. So, covering about a half of that hole and... Uh, if it was over in this direction, it'd be about halfway over that one. And then just kind of lay it down in there and stick it down good. And this stuff, you're supposed to put some good pressure on it evenly and um, get it really tacked down. If you don't clean it with alcohol first and your door's got, you know, oil from your fingers on it or even from, you know, the soap you wash the vehicle with or just dirt on it, it's not going to stick very well. But once you have it on there, then we'll just take some of these screws out and get ready to attach the door bags. All right, this top one right here you can leave. So we're just going to remove this one, uh, these two, and these two here, and just take them out. This is a 27 Torx here. Included in the kit, they sent these five flat washers in a, in a little bag. Just go ahead and put them on the screws that we took out of the door frame. And then put it through. We'll start with this first hole at the front of the door bag here. 
just go ahead and get this one started back in. I don't tighten it up because the um, fabric will just get twisted if you don't get everything, get all of them in before we tighten them down. All right, so we got this one in there, but the, the back can still move freely. So just go ahead and stick one back here in the back. Hopefully you can see this okay. Just get it started in the hole. And then we'll put the other three in and then get ready to tighten them down. All right, last one back here. All right, now we're on the last one. What I'm going to do is it's all pretty much tight. I mean, it's not going anywhere. There's no room or no play, I should say. So I'm just going to hold this fabric taut, keep it from twisting, and just go ahead and snug up each screw just like that. Back to the front one. And then we get this little window strap here out of the way. I'm, some of you may be like, uh, what's that? Where did that come from? Well, I got some videos coming on that uh, after this one, so stay tuned. I'm going to just kind of push it down onto this little Velcro strip. See, I got it down far enough so that the actual uh, hook part of the Velcro is not exposed up here where it would collect dirt and maybe you know rub on your the back of your arm or something I have it tucked down where it's pretty much even with the top of the other side of the fastener but then the, the bag can't wrap around under this bar so you're only really connecting you know about say half an inch maybe an inch worth of velcro right here but that should be plenty honestly it may not even need that at all but uh, it's certainly not going to hurt to have a little extra support and it's a good place to tuck that little strap down and this thing is mounted. All I gotta do is start putting stuff in it. Alright, so from inside the vehicle, as you can see, you know, I got a nice little squishy spot here for my knee to rest while we're out on the trails. Gotta worry about um, these ridges on this plastic back here digging into it or, you know, this metal frame uh, <laughs> making it sore for the, the day is over. Um, also, got this nice little pouch right here. I can just unzip it and reach in there and dig around for whatever I need, close it back up. Uh, really nice little bags. Well, chances are, if you need accessories for your machine, Super 8 TV is going to have what you need. Uh, this is a great example. Uh, for me, these were kind of a nice complement to the Super 8 TV seats and harnesses I've already had uh, in here. Uh, yeah, this is going to be great storage options, uh, nice protection. Our poor little knees from all this nasty, rough hardware on the inside of these door frames. Um, but thanks to Super 8 TV for all the stuff that they make for our vehicles and thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for our next little uh, mini-series which is going to cover this enclosure and windshield and all that. But uh, anyway, well, thanks again and we'll see you in the next video.